just want to go home and read. I know the feeling. What? Oh, Oh, I think that was just the thing that delivered the thing for the thing. What? What? Bespar S's Nidoke Sword Swarm has been found dead completely brain- Oh. <laughs> wow. Who knew Struthiomimus was so strong? Serana. Oh my god. She made me fall through the floor. Oh good. I... I... <laughs> Serana! Get out of the way. Oh, is the body of the dog alerting her even though I don't have the opportunity to move it? That certainly seems to be her goal. I haven't had Prime Rambit a while. I think I should see if I can possibly make that happen at some point. Important notice. These dogs <laughs> are not dead. They are only sleeping. No animals were harmed during the production of this game. <laughs> I'm really glad they put that in there. <laughs> oh shoot! I forgot that melons are not a summer cr or not a spring crop. Which means I can't get any more unless I can recover some. Let's see. You think you're so scary, sir, but you're dead. You don't even know it. I guess this way it is. Now, where's this other guy? I had better back off. <laughs> I did not expect it to get the Albion truck. That You're in a passage. You're in a maze of twisty little passages, all alike. There you are. What? But, uh... <sighs> it dumped it right and literally next to me. The droid engages its patrol mode and moves off to carry out your programmed instructions. Good job. 
Well, I guess I don't need to worry about the data spike. Um... This is why we save. I'm not sure where that boat went. Uh, okay, so... I hate fruit cocktail. I guess I'm just escaping then. And now I can never show my face in that establishment again. Hang about. Then please, after you. Oh, that's so creepy. Hopefully, I can just kind of circle around the island here. Because I need a boat to get to the neighboring island anyway. Which I think is close enough that you can use these smaller ones. I could just go on foot and see if there's another boat I can use. You're at the west end of a long hall. There is a north-south passage here. There are ah. threatening dwarves here. Knives are thrown. None of them hit you. Goodbye. What did, why did the ground shake? What happened? Oh my god. What the hell? Who did that? Actually, hang on. Confidently, you cast the calm spell. Why, how cute. You cast the calm spell and the monster visibly relaxed. Why, now it's calmly and relaxedly ripping you to shreds and eating you. <sighs> you should have studied harder. Wow. There we go. I love that the jeeps are self-correcting when they flip over. Because we are going to have to go for the silly death, obviously. Open machine. 
climb in machine. Well, Roger, it certainly appears as though you're about to become all washed up. <laughs> Wait, what? Open machine? Oh my god! <laughs> You faked me out. Rude. Wonder what you are now. Oh, my God. Damn it, and Stara. Make little help here. Imagine, if you will, taking a bath in sulfuric acid and using pumice for a washcloth. After that bit of displeasure passes, it gets much worse as the acid slowly eats its way to the last critical organs. Finally, mercifully, death takes you. Good evening, folks, and welcome back to the Library of Lore. Tonight we are going to do some more Subnautica Below Zero and push even further into unknown territory. We're going to probably work a bit on uh, doing some base expansion today, I think, because right now we've really got just the one room. And I just got a bunch of new uh, blueprints, including things like the large room that we used as the basis of our operations in the previous game. And we've also got the moon pool. So lots of fun stuff that we can potentially work on. Plus, I, I'm going to have to double check once we get into the game, which I'm going to launch right now. But I believe I've got the blueprint for the uh, sea truck docking area as well. So we can build one or more of those. So we're loading in. Ah, there we go. I was just going to mention I was a little concerned that it wasn't actually showing up yet. But there we go. It's showing up now, so we should be fine. I hope everyone is having a good evening. I hope everyone had a great weekend. <clears throat> I'm starting to get back into the swing of things a little bit. I'm starting to get back into doing a little bit of the vertical video stuff that I've been doing. The uh, shorts for Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. It helps a lot that those are actually really fun to work on, as long as I've got good material to work with. So we did a few of those. Okay, so it looks like we are back at the base. Let's take a look at what additional truck components we have available to us now before we do anything else. Oh, it's a lovely storm. Uh, yes, we've got the aquarium module now, so that could be pretty good. <clears throat> Attachable sea tr truck module that collects live specimens. Interesting. So I wonder if it does that passively or if we have to do that with intention. Sea truck docking module, ingredients unknown, so we don't have that one yet. We do have the fabricator module we could build. We don't have the sleeper module completed yet. Uh, and of course, we've got the storage module. We've been using that one. Okay. Uh, let's get back in the water before we freeze to death. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. Don't worry. We're good. It's all good. 
It's okay. Thank you. So we've got our battery charger. We've got our power cell charger. I could probably do with a few more batteries. Actually, uh, speaking of batteries, some of our tools are running down a little bit. So let me get some more stuff charging up. Let that charge and then we'll pop it into another unit. Um, speaking of units, okay, so we've got the large room. That's two plasteel ingots. Definitely going to have minimum one of those. That's going to be a necessity. And we're going to we're going to have the uh, large glass door. Oh my god, four enameled glass. Wow, that's expensive in this one. I don't think it was that bad in the uh, previous game. Interesting. And uh, we're going to want the moon pool, too. The eyeglass compartment is pretty easy. That one's just regular glass. This is two titanium ingots, lubricant, and two lead. Oh, um, oh, right. We'll go here and we'll do stuff. So we're going to want... We're going to need lithium is what we're going to need. So we're going to be doing a fair amount of collecting, it looks like. Mm. Oh, and I've got the ultra high capacity tank. I'm so happy about that. Okay, so we're going to want that. We're going to want that. We're going to want that. And we're going to want this, the large glass room dome, but I'm not going to worry about that too much right this moment. And this isn't too bad. This sea truck dock is surprisingly nice. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should prioritize that over the moon pool, come to think of it. I think that's going to be a lot more useful, actually. The moon pool will probably be handy once we've got the prawn suit, but until then, I don't know how much use we'll actually get out of it. Unless I keep maybe an individual, like if you can use it with just the truck itself with none of the modules attached, might use it there, but that's about the only thing I can think about. Um... I love that they've got an aromatherapy lamp. <laughs> Young cotton anemone. Wow. I like the executive toy, too. Well, I don't think we've actually found magnetite yet. Oh, and we're definitely going to want a water filtration machine, which means we need to find the stuff that you require for aerogel. And that is ruby. We've got gel sacks. We don't have ruby. Interesting. So those young cotton anemones looks like they're going to be important for the hydrochloric acid stuff. So we need that and salt deposits for hydrochloric. Synthetic fibers, spiral plant clipping, and ruby. I'm not sure where you get the spiral plant clippings from, but we have seen a few spiral plants. We can always check those out. All right, so let's check our stocks of things. What have we got here? We have one lithium, plus I've got a few in my inventory. So that's enough to make... Actually, I might just be able to... You know what? I think I can. What? Have the computer on, downloading... So I have the computer on, downloading a game. So may as well, I cannot say. <laughs> I love that he said cannot say instead of can't say. That's actually kind of awesome. How are you doing, Mr. Soggy Ramen? Thank you so much for 35 months of support. It's good to have you here. I hope all is well this evening. All right. That should be enough for two plasteel ingots right there. We are going to need more lithium because we have other things that are going to need the uh, ingots, but that's okay. Uh, 
Actually, you know, I'm wrong. The dock requires a titanium ingot, not a, um, a plasteel ingot. So that's handy. We, so basically right now we need to go on a bit of a quartz hunt. So let's do that. Doing well, got a refund from a coat that never came in. So you had 150 bucks to burn. That is awesome. What game are you downloading? Is it a new game that you got with your spoils? Okay, I know exactly what you mean. That's, you know, you do you. I'm not going to give people crap. I just don't want it in here, so thank you. I appreciate that, and I do hope you have fun with it. Interesting. What might that be? Ah, mobile vehicle bay. Ah, there we go. I hopped back in too soon. Actually, I should be using this. Vehicle Bay. Okay, so that's seven. We need a little bit more than that. Probably not all that much more for now. Let's go with eight and see how far that gets us. So we'll stick with nine. Oh, whoops. That'll buff out. That's not a problem. Can I help you? Okay, now we need, oops. we need that turned into glass. Uh, 
Oh, I'm wrong. Okay, I need one more. So that means two more quartz. Let's just check in this area. I'm sure I've gotten a fair bit from near here, but I doubt very much that I've gotten all of it. Wow, I really have been busy, haven't I? Any minute now. Get away from me. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Excited for KSB 2 later this month? I don't know yet. I mean, I'm definitely excited for Kerbal Space Program 2. Absolutely. I really am. I don't know if I'm going to get it right at launch, though. It depends on how many features are in and at least semi-working for the release. Because it is going into early access, right? I'll probably hold on it for a little while if it's going to be sort of a bare-bones release to be filled in. There we go. Actually, give me that. Give me that. Swap that out. And now let's charge this one because I managed to actually run that down pretty good while searching for quartz. weird um hey game could we maybe I'm confused. Welcome aboard, Captain. Multi system orbital mechanics? What do you mean by that? Damn it. I thought it was going to be that freaking wall, not this one. Oh, well, that's okay. That's fine. That is totally fine. Now, it's kind of looking like I'm a bit low on my 
structural support. Uh, I no longer need that. Oop. That, though. Where is that? Titanium and lead. If I did... Uh, where is... There it is. Reinforcement. More titanium, no lead, just lithium. I might do some of that, honestly. That does mean we're going to need more lithium. Takes the gravity of the planet, moon, and sun into account when calculating an orbit. Allows for the use of Lagrange points and saddles to redirect the orbit to save fuel. More realistic. That is awesome. I hope they're doing that then. Hey, Mad. How's it going? You know what? I kind of would prefer to use a foundation or four. So titanium and lead. Where the heck do we get lead from? an egg. That's what I want. Titanium, damn it. Two lead, okay. Let's go with that. Good day for a Monday? Excellent. Glad to hear that. It's been a good night so far, except we've got ads in progress that are just about over. So that's annoying. Sorry about that, Mad. Uh, by the time I noticed that the ads were running, they were already almost done. But aside from that, it's been a pretty good night. Thank you for uh, for that. I'm glad that it's been a good day for a Monday. 
Saw a video about how they shoot rockets past the Earth-Sun Lagrange, Lagrange point in order to use the sun's gravity to widen the craft's orbit so they don't have to do an orbital burn to send something to the moon. Yeah, it takes more time, but is very fuel efficient. Also, if the launch is timed correctly, it gets captured by the moon's gravity. Yes. That was part of a plot point in The Martian, actually using gravity-assisted slingshot maneuvers to travel more efficiently and, you know, in some cases more quickly where they needed to go. Where do I live again? Not that way. That way. I need uh, titanium. That would help. What? That's it? It added a whole plus two. You're kidding. That sucks. Jesus. Wow. Okay, so we've got ourselves a big room. We're clearly gonna need to build more foundations and possibly some reinforcement. Obviously, they have tweaked the values on uh, structural integrity in this game. Okay. Oh, that battery's done. Let's grab that. Foundations aren't worth it, only plus two. Reinforcements are plus seven. Yeah, okay. Well, now I've learned my lesson there. So let's never mind the foundations. So that's lithium and titanium. Where did I park? How are you doing tonight, Tagarung? It's good to have you here. I hope all is well. direction when I was looking for quartz.
something over here. Oh, I'm getting a bit low on water. Oh, I'm really getting a bit low on water. I think maybe what we might do is um, go and come back. I'm just going to have to go get some of that really hydrating food. Did my last message about slingshot maneuvers get passed? Uh, you, I saw three messages. The last one of them was, also if the launch is timed correctly, it gets captured by the moon's gravity. And then I went on a little bit about how that was kind of a plot point in The Martian, using orbital assist maneuvers and gravity slingshots. Seat fluid intake. Q fifty nine. There's got to be a cave system that these things are in. I wish they were a little easier to find. Or a lot easier. A lot easier would be good, too. I'm not picky. never gone down in here before. Oh, that's alien tech. What you found is more than just an artifact. It will help me follow the traces my people left on this planet. Interesting. Sounds good. Mineral distillery. The structure of this device and internal scans indicate a likely utility in processing and extracting minerals out of the water. The device is engineered to suck water into a superheated primary chamber. As the water boils, steam is forcefully condensed back into a separate chamber that releases the processed water back into the ocean. The minerals that are left behind are gathered in the attached container module. Activation and control parameters remain unknown.
Well, I guess that one has to count as relatively easy to find. So thank you, game. I appreciate that you listened. The other UFO that was shot, shot down? Yeah, there's been, what, three of them now? A hexagonal one over Lake Huron and a couple of cylindrical ones. Oh. Okay, so that was just another entrance to the same cavern. Oops. That'll buff out. That's fine. Oh. Wow, well, he really took off. Okay. So this is where all the lead lives. At least in theory. Well, I mean, it's really going to depend a great deal on what the intrusions actually are, right?
all this and only five lithium? Six. I don't have any beacons at the moment, although I've done that once or twice, only to find that I really had nothing interesting to mark. Oh man, there's two of them. So I ended up deploying it outside the base so I could get back more easily. There are a few things I intend to put beacons around, like some of the wrecks and whatnot. Okay. I suppose six lithium's not the worst. Oh. All right, eight lithium. That's actually starting to get half decent. Nine, ten. And I think that will do it. I think we can probably go back now and see what we can build in the way of reinforcement. Just normally keep some to place down temporarily so you don't have to look around for that one thing that was just here. I mean, that's smart. It's just I haven't really had a lot of extra materials on hand. Especially, I think the beacons take copper. I would have to hunt around a little. I mean, I know copper is not really that difficult to find, but I haven't taken the time to find spare to make extra beacons with yet. I could probably get away with disassembling the foundation and building a reinforcement, but I think I'd like to build the reinforcement first. Then take away the foundation.
I did once, until I realized how useless they are in Below Zero. Not anymore, that's why I'm gonna get rid of it. Now I can get rid of it. Oh, okay, never mind. Apparently, my base is now considered to be an attached component, so I can't get rid of it. So we're stuck with it. So that's all right. Okay, so for the sea truck dock, we're going to need titanium ingot and advanced wiring kit. The titanium ingot should be pretty simple. I have a spare diamond, wow. No, I don't really need titanium right now, or copper. Actually, that's not true. If I need an advanced wiring kit, I'm gonna need copper, aren't I? I don't need that much, though. one. It's inventory full. All right. Oxygen. Wow. Thanks, Mr. Soggy Roman. Okay, so I need gold and table coral. Table coral is something that I should probably just go out, gather a bunch of, and stockpile. Oh, also I already had copper ore. That's fun. Okay. Ooh. 
Whoops, that'll buff out. Why is it that the caves that are just completely lined with table coral never show themselves until I'm no longer looking for table coral? You're probably right. Also, ads. I'll be back in a moment. I'm just trying to incite violence between the trigger men and the... Oh, shoot. Not me. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, okay. That, no, that... <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> what? Hey, that was not me. Wow. That's it? That's your best? Damn you. Did wait, did the Rana just raise my corpse? <laughs> okay, sorry about that, folks. Thank you, Mr. Zoggy Roman. Okay, that should be enough for two, I believe. Gonna call it an early night, very early morning meeting, gonna test my patience and sanity. That sounds fun. Have a great time, Mad.
I could have sworn I had gold. I don't have gold. We're gonna have to go get some of that too. I suppose it's possible it might be in here. Or I might just be out. Okay. Oh, actually, let's go get some more food. Sorry. You little jerks. Is the only one? Okay. some gold. Like at least one more. Maybe more. New episodes of South Park? Seriously? Hasn't that show ended yet? Sounds angry. Oh, hello. I don't believe we've been introduced. If you don't mind, I'm inclined to keep it that way. <laughs> wow.
Still going strong, wow. Okay, that's kind of impressive. if I've been down here yet or not. And I'm pretty sure I haven't scanned one of these guys. Oh, that's... Damn it. All the Calvarite I find is just titanium. Good. We've got a fair number of containers. What is this? Oh, is this the entrance to get in there? Oh, man. Okay, hang on. No worries, Mr. Soggy Roman. You do what you gotta do. Featherfish. This has got to be... I think I know what this is. I've never been here before. I'm going to go on record and guess that this is the fabled frozen leviathan that people keep talking about. Oh, 
I don't want no trouble, sir. Oh. I don't... Oh, there's multiple. That's so much fun. Cut open. Oh, hey, Sketchy. No, my face cam is off because I forgot that I haven't fixed that yet. Sorry. New technology acquired. Headlamp. Ooh. Okay, you know what? I'm not particularly prepared for this. I'm going back. I will come back when I have better prepared. <gasps> Prawn suit mark three. What happened, Sketchy? That's good to hear. Okay, my truck should be up ahead. God, I wish you could bring the truck in here. It looks like it would almost fit. See, this is an area where I really kind of wish I had a uh, beacon. That would be pretty nice. Oh, and this is conveniently marked, so we can identify it on the map, which actually will help. Um, logs and communications, maps, Altera facilities. So this is here. So we've been here, here, and here now. It's only the ones that are on land that we haven't found yet. Oh, you're referring to the prawn suit. Yes. Yes, it is. I believe it is. Let me make sure and confirm that I actually have the prawn suit blueprint. Although it may not show up in this list, actually, now that I think about it. Oh, no, it should. Yeah. Oh, no, no, actually. It's the start of a happy day. We've got one component of the prawn suit. We still need three more. You think you're in love? Nice. How do I always get into these areas that I am not supposed to get the truck into? Uh, 
No, I did not want to leave the truck. Delusion, welcome on in. How goes? Hope all is well this evening. Okay, so that was a bit of a bigger adventure than I expected, but we got several resources there that are pretty nice, including a new blueprint I wasn't expecting. Let me inspect that. Headlamp. Battery-powered, all-environment, head-mounted light source. Oh my god, it actually requires an ion battery. So I guess we're not making use of that for a little while. <laughs> Unless you get access to ion batteries and power cells earlier in Below Zero than you do in Subnautica. This is the first confirmation I've had that they even exist in this game. Sorry. Just got back from your workout, you had some tea? Ah, very nice. I've got tea myself. no longer need that pin because we built it. Uh, yes, I needed a computer chip. Oh, I can do aerogel. So that means we can do the water filtration unit unexpectedly. That's pretty nice. I'm going to keep the other gel sack, though, because I want to cultivate those. So let's pop that in there so I don't accidentally make something. And what else do I need? Advanced wiring kit requires a regular wiring kit, so I need silver. How did your workout go? I hope... That went well for you. What kind of tea are you having? I drink mostly herbal tea. What I've got now is what I've been drinking for the last month or so. It's a newish kind, or at least new to me. I don't know how long it's been available, but... Um, it is... Uh, what is it called, actually? Maple Apple Cider. very delicious. Okay, we already got that stuff. Got that.
Argentite. Okay. Actually, we probably don't have to go that far for Argentite. Let's probably just get this biome here. Oh, here's all the frickin' table coral. That is titanium. Hey, Space Vikings, how's it going? that mission successful. Minute warning, by the way, folks. We have ads beginning in about two minutes. I will warn you in advance now that we're into new territory with regards to this game. I've been having a hell of a time keeping the um, the ad breaks on time and consistent. I keep not noticing them. I haven't stopped trying, it's just more difficult tonight. Okay. So that should let me make a wiring kit. And that will let me make the advanced wiring kit. And with those, I should be able to do the sea truck dock. Minus five, damn. Okay. I'm going to start the ads, we'll, or uh, I'm going to start the uh, clips, and when we get back from the clips, I will park in the dock and see how that works. So give me just a few minutes and I'll be right back. Oh, nice. 
Nice. How many times do I hear that a day? Nope, can't take all of us right before I take all of them. There we go. Spider-Man 1, Robbers 0. shot to death if I don't. a colossal sized map which is quite a bit larger than the largest available in the base game okay i'm back now let's test out the new dock I don't know how this works. Presumably we will find out. What? What? This is so cool. What the heck? It detaches the... Oh, wow. I love this. Oh, and it gives... Oh. <laughs> this is so cool. Well, sort of. It's a modular submarine. It's called a sea truck, and when you build it, you basically you just build this, and then you build additional modules to go with it, which are detachable. So you can build all the different modules and just, you know, hook up the ones that you need when you need them. Uh, I'll show you in a minute. I've never used the dock before. This is so freaking awesome. So that's the sea truck, and that there is a storage module for the sea truck. And uh, that just attaches to the end of this thing, and it makes the sea truck bigger, which also makes it a little slower and a little bit uh, less maneuverable. Oh my god, I love this system. It's so good. That's really cool. I, I really like that. 
I am curious how it impacts your ability to maneuver around and use the different modules you build for the truck, though. Also, I just noticed that I maybe built my base out into an awkward spot with regards to this thing, but that's okay. We can always move that if I need to. Alright, well, might need to do a little more reinforcing. I need more titanium. There we go, 12.8. Yeah, that's not a bad way to think of it, Grand Illusion. See fluid intake. Oh, shoot, okay, well... Let's see what the other end of the process is like, where we go and we take the truck out. Because I need to go grab some more food and drink. Oh, wow. Okay, I love it. That's so good. And so now, just to quickly show you... That's the truck with the storage module attached to the back. Recommended. Uh, there is a speed upgrade, I think. There are no modules for speed. Ah, uh, afterburner. There is an afterburner upgrade, yes. But that works like the upgrades for the Sea Moth and the Cyclops and the Sea Truck. It's not just a compartment that you build onto the back. As far as compartments you add to the back go, the ones that I know of so far are... Somewhere. Here we go. So there's the Sea Truck, an Aquarium Module, a docking module, which is for if you've got the prawn suit, you can dock the prawn suit into the sea truck using the docking module. There's a fabricator module, which gives you basically like the fabricator on board your uh, sea base. There's a sleeper module, which lets you... Uh, I, I don't know the extent of what it does, but it gives you a bed so you can pass time. And there's a storage module, which is the one that I have built so far. Maybe I should move my beacon to the end of the dock. My base has gotten quite long so far. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. I just love that it gives you access to the compartments. You can just walk right in. Very handy for the storage compartment in particular. All right, so next, that's that's the, uh, the dock we've completed. So we don't need that one highlighted anymore. Probably don't need that. We definitely want water filtration though. 
Dova, how's it going? I'm doing well. I hope you're doing well. Uh, oh, we already have that one. Oop, where did that go? Okay, so that's done. <sighs> Can't really do a nuclear reactor. I mean, theoretically I could, but I don't know how to power it yet. I haven't found nuclear material. Ranch Sim, your new favorite farm sim. I don't think I'm familiar with Ranch Sim. What makes that different from other similar games? And what other games might you compare it to? Could do a bioreactor. Okay, so I'm going to need more copper. But... Trick or Tori! Holy crap, it's been a bit. How are you doing, Tori? You are wonderful. Thank you so much for coming in with your folks. Uh, folks, if you don't know Trick or Tori, we used to be on a stream team together. She's a wonderful streamer. Welcome on in. What is going on this evening? Let me get you some shout-outs here. And there we go. Tori's a wonderful, wonderful friend and streamer. And uh, it's so good to see you. What have you been up to this evening? Let's see. You were doing some just chatting. Was that the entire stream? Were you doing some uh, gaming too? What's going on? Oh, geez. Sorry, I had my local volume a bit loud. My alerts, I still need to adjust my alerts. They're all relatively new. And uh, so, you know, if, if they sound a little weird, that's because they're still a work in progress. But uh, it's, I'm doing so well. Thank you very much. Just vibing today. Very cool. We're kind of doing the same, only with uh, Subnautica, specifically the Below Zero sequel. And uh, so I'm, I hope the stream went well for you. If you've never been here before, my name is Gordon McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a wide variety of mostly single-player story-driven games with excellent character and narrative development, as well as some strategy games, sandboxy games, retro RPGs, classic adventure games. And every once in a while, I do real-world physical actual Lego builds. So... uh if any of that sounds good, please feel free to hit the follow button. I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you in properly as well. Hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. Well, come on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh no! Uh, uh, runaway helicopter! Oh damn it! Oh no! 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 Oh shoot! Sixty-nine form factor aspect ratio. Oh no! 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 No oh, crap! Whoa! Yes. Whoa. <laughs> okay. That. Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. Ha <laughs> ha! 
There you go. That's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around these parts. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> thank you so much for coming in with the raid. We are playing some Subnautica Below Zero. Uh, this is now officially my first time through. It's actually my second attempt at a first playthrough of the game, but I never finished the first one. In fact, I only really got a little ways into it. And just last night, in last night's stream, I got to my first part of the game that I had never seen before. So all of this stuff that I've done tonight, including a lot of the base building here, the new room, and I just built a dock for the sea truck and stuff, never done any of this before. It's all, you know, new discovery time. So I'm just kind of in awe at how nice the sea truck docking system is in this game. It's so good. So if any of you have uh, never seen the game before, this is a pretty good chance to see it for with somebody who's seeing it for the very first time. Ranch Sim lets you hunt. Eventually, it will let you have pets, etc. Oh, that's very nice. So is it still in early access or something like that? Oh, and thank you, Jason. I really appreciate that. I actually need to make more of those. That one's quite an old video. It's the second version of that one same video. I've been using it for many years, and I love it quite a bit. But uh, I... I have a lot of clips these days. When I made that one, I think I had maybe 120 to choose from. And now I'm sneaking up pretty close on a collection of a thousand. So <laughs> I think I can probably do a few more and rotate through them. But they're really fun to work on. So there's that. Um, I was trying to figure out what we were going to do next. I think I have a little bit of a garden set up out there. Let me see about... Yeah, I can do another grow bed. So let me get one of these set up, and I have some other stuff I need to cultivate. So we're going to put that in there. And I need that. Wow, only three? I thought they gave you four. I might be wrong about that. So we'll let those grow, and then I'll continue the process. I'll just cut them down and replant, and that'll be my gel sack farm. And I wonder if these will grow. Uh, I guess it probably helps if I have one. Nope. Okay. Oh, but there's antenna fruit. I might see if I can grow some of that. I'm pretty sure those will work because I got them out of one of these things to begin with. Okay, maybe not. Uh, this one, it's Subnautica Below Zero sketchy. Or are you talking about Ranch Sim? I believe it's just called Ranch Sim. Okay, so that's a start on growing gel sack, which we need for uh, aerogel, among other things. So what else have we got? We can do some of this stuff. The vending machine might be good. Mm. 
Yeah, I think it's mostly the water filtration machine. So I'm going to need copper wire and some titanium. You know, titanium, that's easy enough. But I do need more... Oh, I do need more copper wire. Habits. Habits. I need the sea truck. Okay. Like I said, I can love the dock. That is so great. I love that. It's it's really good. Okay, so Oh, and I didn't even think about that, but uh, the dock unit, much like the moon pool, causes the base to charge the truck up so I don't have to worry about running out of cell power anymore. That's pretty nice. Oops. What did I just... Oh, that was it. I got it. Search complete. So how is everybody doing? I hope everyone had a fantastic weekend and has had a really good start to their weeks. I know it's Monday. Mondays are always very Monday-like. But I hope as Mondays go, they weren't too bad. What are we going to call the sea truck? I never even thought about what we were going to name it until now. Now suddenly I've got the dock so I can actually do something. Today was pretty hectic to be honest, but that's okay. Tomorrow's a new day. Yes, well... Hopefully, hectic. Hectic doesn't always have to be bad. Kind of sounds like maybe it was. I'm not thinking of that as the actual official forever name, but I think it'll do for now. SNS Prometheus. What is SNS and what is that sounds like a reference. What is that from? Knight McLeod? No, I don't think so. I don't want to name it after me. Nope, still don't want to name it after me. All right, water filtration. I think that can go here. And... Do I have lubricant hanging around? I might, actually. I do. Oh, does it have to go in the middle? Wow, all right. I really kind of hate that. I might have to extend my... my smaller rooms to accommodate that. I don't want that in the big one. Rock grub, inedible grub. So what the heck do you do with a rock grub, then, if it's not edible? Submersible nuclear ship. I assume the vehicles are nuclear. They're actually electric. They, uh, they are battery-powered. Oh. Uh, if the antenna fruit is rotten and I can't do anything with it, we can always put it in the bioreactor, I suppose. Um, OK. 
Okay, so we'll build up a bit of power there. So that's two things taken care of. We've got additional power and we've got water filtration, which is, it's gonna take a while, but eventually that'll start taking care of our water needs for us. I could still use some more solid food here. That'll do for that. I think we're going to take the truck out again, go look for a little more copper, and I'm going to take Mr. Soggy Ramen's suggestion from earlier. Of crafting a, several beacons and uh, just deploy them around. In fact, I'm going to take my own suggestion. That home beacon used to be pretty handy where it is, because when I started the save today, when I started stream, this room was my entire base. So that was a pretty good indication of where I wanted to go. But now I've made it ridiculously big on the one axis, and so I'm going to move the beacon over to where I actually want to take the truck out to. And just pop this over here. There we are. So that marks the spot where I want to bring it, and that'll be good. Oh, they're bait for the rock puncher. Thank you, Sketchy. One of the solar panels is partially deconstructed. Is it? Seriously? Oh, you are correct. Look at that. Good eye, Tagarong. Damn. I didn't notice that at all. Oh, so even more reason to get copper ore then. some copper. Greeny, it's good to see you. How are you doing? Underwater shenanigans are going pretty good, actually. Let me show off something really quick, like I built the dock for the sea truck, and it's pretty nice. Oh, thank you very much, Tagarong. I appreciate you giving Greeny the shout out. Excellent. So there we go. It automatically decouples the uh, the head of the sea truck from any modules that might be attached. Gives you access to the modules back here. And just parks the truck right there. It's really, really nice. And then you can walk into the base and it's got the whole customization thing. It's really cool. I like it a lot. But uh, I needed to work on my power, so let's go over here. Oh, crap. Ads. I'll be back in just one moment. There you go. Arrow to 
the need. Now you can no longer be an adventurer. Sorry, I don't make the rules. <laughs> what? Hey, that was not me. Oh, maybe it'll come here. Okay, more locally to you then. Yeah, I... Whoops. Thanks, Auto Drive. Think you got him? was that this can't be the original entry room can it that's what I was just thinking greeny this looks completely different the lighting is so different This is that trap room, isn't it? Where the gas comes out and everything's really dangerous. Traps. How insidious. Oh my god. The lighting makes such a huge difference. Holy crap, it looks so different. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. That one caught me by surprise again mentioned earlier in the stream I'm really distracted tonight there we go that one's better thank you sketchy and I'm glad to hear things are going well greeny okay let's see no water yet almost done with salt thank you Vikings Still need more copper, so let's see what more we can find. That looks like that should be copper, in theory. Ah, good. Nope, still need more. the silver and titanium. Don't mind me, sir. Going to hang around, at least be useful and let me scan you. Thank you. Ow! It's right, you run. Okay, I think that might be all the copper we need for the moment.
right, that was salt. We really want the water more than anything. Now, what happened to my aerogel? Did I have to use that? Oh. Oh, I... Right, I don't... I don't need the water filtration blueprint anymore. Or the bioreactor. So what am I actually working on, then? I guess that's the question. What do we want to work on, then? I could build some more compartments for the sea truck. I can do a lot of things. Uh, oh, uh, right, I remember. We were going to do... We were going to do beacons. So I've got several locations in mind as excellent candidates for beacon reception. Chief among them is, uh, where is the map? We want to go back here. So that would be... I'm honestly not sure which one that is. Can you actually split an atom? Me? No. You require nuclear equipment to do that. And it's a bad idea. It's very dangerous. Try not to split atoms. So let's see if we can find that facility again. I got there the one time, but that's going to be the trick, is actually managing to locate it again. Uh, well, there is a massive release of energy. I mean, what you're talking about is nuclear fission. And that is the basis of nuclear power plants and nuclear bombs. So, if you're not careful about it, you don't take precautions, you don't control it somehow, then yeah, there would be a hell of an explosion. This might be... I think that might be where we need to send... Um, set up some power stuff later, but for now, this might be the thermal area that I was in earlier. Which means we're hopefully in the right general area to find the facility again. it. We got it. Nailed it.
yes it is. Yes it is. Fission means split. And that uh, distinguishes them from fusion reactors, which I think they've only just started making significant breakthroughs in recently. And that would be when you take two atoms and fuse them together into one, which also releases energy, but not as explosively, so it's a lot safer. But it's also a hell of a lot harder to achieve. Um, I wish I knew the proper name for this location. So we're just going to call it that for now. Oh. Never mind. It's very handy that they labeled their own sites. Happy to answer if I can, just bear in mind that I am not an expert on nuclear energy. Is that what the Hadron Collider does? No, actually that's a pretty good question. Uh, what that does is it basically provides a massive circular trap track that they can accelerate particles around and around and around until they achieve phenomenal speeds pretty close to the speed of light, but of course they can't get them to the speed of light. And then they collide particles together and see what happens. But uh, they're not trying to split atoms when they do that. They're just colliding particles. Because when they collide at those speeds, the results can actually be pretty intense. And they can be pretty dangerous. And there can be radiation and all that stuff. Uh, but sometimes that's what causes the creation of other like subatomic particles and things like that. So... You know, I'm not exactly an expert. Don't go looking to me for in-depth explanations of what all that actually means. Oh, I missed a bunch of stuff when I came in here the first time. What is this? Okay. That's a thing that I already had. Got it. suppose we can actually go in there, huh? Oh, you know there's ruby and stuff in there. It looks like it might theoretically be possible. Oh. This is scannable. Floodlight. Nice. another rock grub. I should try to scan one. A small luminescent scavenger, roughly thumb size. This creature may be a distant relative of the sand shark, sharing that species' unusual limbs, segmented skeleton, and burrowing behavior. Jaw. This circular set of teeth is designed to tear up clumps of coral and seagrass caught on the rocks. Limbs. Five legs, two arms, and a large flipper allow the rock grub to cling to and walk across rock faces in search of food and swiftly swim to safety when under attack. Green luminescence. Glowing green in the dark would seem like a poor survival strategy, but this adaptation may be a mating behavior or other specialized process engaged in by only a fraction of the total population at any one time. Or perhaps being eaten is simply part of the rock grub's life cycle. Assessment harmless. Okay, I'm not going to take him. There seems to be a few of them around. Quite a few of them, actually. I don't really need them. I do think I maybe need some air, though. It is a real shame that I don't think I can fit the truck in here.
No. Okay. Thermal plant. Hydrothermal spire. These chimney-shaped structures are formed from dissolved minerals pushed upwards through the planet's crust. The presence of metal sulfides gives the escaping material its dark, opaque appearance. Aquatic life found in proximity may have evolved adaptations to the presence of these toxic compounds. Assessment, long-term exposure to geothermal emissions may pose a risk to human health. Okay, so we've got the thermal plant now. Or at least we've got the blueprint for it. We would have to actually build it. Okay, let's see about grabbing that. I could actually use that. I am a little bit hurt. Oh, 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 oh. Another prawn fragment. Hello, sir. Aurora Wreckage located. Survivors confirmed. Look at this. This is the first game. Altera has released voice recordings which confirm survivors of the Aurora crash. The transmission came from the trade ship Sunbeam, which was passing nearby when it detected their SOS. Hey, Altera, we've got one of your birds in the soup over here. Looks like they took static survivors. We're moving in for a closer look. While the number of survivors is not yet known, nor the true state of the ship, it is now known that she has landed with her hull largely intact on planet 4546B. Smaller than Earth and largely waterbound, it is thought the planet has a breathable atmosphere and hopes have been raised all around. The Sunbeam is registered as a five-seater cargo vessel. Five-seater? Wow. Insufficient to evacuate the crew or cargo of the Aurora, but perhaps enough to assess the situation and reassure shareholders at home that their investment is secure. There is at least a one-month delay on transmissions from that region of space. In the meantime, Altera is working on every possible solution, including an innovative idea to transmit the blueprints for a purpose-built rocket, which could be constructed using material salvaged from the Aurora and the planet itself. If the crew could begin their long journey home now, the rescue teams could meet them halfway, shaving months off their return. Altera share prices rose to their quarterly high on the news. Oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna need to head back for more oxygen shortly. Oh, that one needs to be cut open. It's one of these days I really am gonna have to... What the hell are you eating, sir? Oh, nothing. Okay. He lost interest. Um, I would love to go further, but I wasted too much time gathering other stuff. This looks like a real good place to hang around and scan stuff, though, because if I can get the frickin' prawn suit, I bet you I could get that inside here. Can you do it without the storage module? That's a good question. I doubt it, but... It might be worth trying. No, I, d I don't think so, because look, the width is actually, you know, the, the truck itself with these jet things, it's wider than the cargo module is. Okay, the important thing is we've now got the Copa mining site marked. So we're going to head back. I'm going to get some food and water. Where do I live? I'm over this way. And then we have another site we need to mark. Actually two, so I'm going to need another beacon. Good 
Good evening, sir. Rude. Now, the problem with the thermal energy solution is finding thermal energy that's reasonably close to my base. Scanner room might be handy for that, actually. Might have to consider that. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Excellent. I see flashy light warnings are still necessary for this series. I'm just going to stash those in there. Okay, it looks like I mostly need copper. Alright, uh, I could use a little bit of food too, I guess. <laughs> There we go, perfect. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, copper. Well, thank you. Titanium that I know what to do with, but I'll take it. Still more titanium. And even more titanium. There we go, there's some copper. Damn it. Good. Excellent, okay. few beacons, which means we might go and tag some of those wrecks so that I can go and explore them. That'll buff out.
Okay. Now, instead of carrying those around all the time, I do have the storage module. I might as well put it to use. So we're gonna just keep some in maybe this locker up here. Oh, wait. I'll keep one on me because we're gonna use it soon. But now... I may have to move the hatch. When this was just the one room, that hatch location was uh, actually pretty convenient. Might be better somewhere on the big room now, though. Uh, what were we going to... We were going to do this. We were going to look at the mobile vehicle bay. And I'm kind of thinking it might be time to make that fabrication module. So that's going to require one more piece of lead, we're going to need a plasteel ingot, and we're going to need a computer chip. And while we are here... Okay, so that's Plasteel Ingot taken care of. I need more copper wire so that I can make the computer chip. I have everything else that I need. And then I just need one piece of lead. right here actually there we go lead taken care of now I just need copper oh titanium that's one copper Ads are in progress. I'll be back in just a few minutes, folks. a healing reserve. I just chose the one set with the... Uh, oh, God damn it, Greeny. <laughs> oh, my God. I just emptied my frickin' inventory. How am I already overburdened again? I'll look for you, friend. When at last you return to 
Shaw's Hall. The honor will be ours when we join the ranks of Sovereign God. This is so freaking cool. I love it. When you're ready to rejoin the living, just bid me say, and I will send you back. Return now to me, with this rich boon from Shore, my lord. Let's go for it. Oh. I hate fruit cocktail. I guess I'm just escaping then. And now I can never show my face in that establishment again. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> Even the rebound. Okay, I'm back. Oh, uh, we were looking for copper. I still need more. There we go. Thank you, Sketchy. Thank you, Vikings. That'll buff out. So will that. A computer chip? Oh. Nope. Didn't need that. Yes, it does, Vikings, actually. Thank you, computer. Alright. So now we've got a fabricator module. Which means all we need to do is attach it. Actually, I'm curious about something. So there's a bubble here. We can't just go there. But I think this is... Nope. That's enclosed, okay. Ah, okay, so there is another potential interest or entrance there. I don't think I saw you above the water much at all in the previous game. There are two islands in the other game, actually, but they represent only a very small portion of the gameplay experience. This one, there it's a much more significant part of the experience. I like how it just instantly conformed to the appearance of the rest of the thing. So, sea truck fabricator. Oh, and it gives us a little bit of extra storage, too. Not a lot. 12 spots, but that's not bad. Okay, and yeah, oh, it's, it's definitely a little slower to turn around. But it's still pretty reasonable. Now, let's see how it docks. I mean, I don't expect any actual changes. 
I will say, though, I like the interior color scheme a lot for the Seamoth, but I'm not digging it so much for the truck. There's too much interior. So I think... We're gonna go for something a little more subtle. That looks better. Okay, so that's Copa Mining Site, Delta Station Dock. Sparking Cage is... holy crap. Sparking Cage is now suddenly a whole lot closer to the base because the base has gotten so long. That's actually a little weird. But we want to head off to pretty close to Pilot's last known position. In fact, Pilot's last known position is just about one of the places that I want to put down a beacon. It's not quite. It's in the immediate area, but I want to put something that's a little more precise. There's two things in that general area that I need to put markers for. Let's get a little bit closer to the island. We don't want any close encounters with the big guy. one of the wrecks that I wanted to mark. Let's see if we can find a convenient entrance. Let me put a beacon right by the entrance. Because I need to get in here and explore these things. There are, probably are a few little bits of equipment that I would like to have before I do, though. Like the... Oh, you know what? I totally spaced, but I got the uh, recipe for that headlight now. I should probably make that. That would be really good for exploring these things. But I'm also thinking, even though I never really have used them in the past, the location beacon thingy is probably not a bad idea either. I don't know if that's a viable way in. We might use that one if I can't find something better, though. Oh, that looks better, actually. I'll stick it in there. Oh, you know, the other thing that I really need is a replacement battery for my Sea Glide. Almost a month. Damn. Nice. That's pretty impressive. Okay. I'm gonna save and we're gonna head down this way. Oh, uh, we got these guys. Octo sharks. I don't 
know what they're called, but they look weird. is that sorry promising. I think this has got to be a... Oops. Mega Lab. Okay. I don't know that there's actually much that I need to do here. I think I've pretty much got everything I need to get from Omega Lab. But it's a pretty useful point of reference. So I just wanted the location marked and known.
Oh, there's Ruby here too. curious about these. What the heck are they? Hive mind? The hive mind are never alone and grow in massive clusters. They are physically connected by a root system which sends out chemical signals in the presence of large predators. This signal activates a chemical reaction within its green phosphorus membrane, resulting in a visible change of color in its bioluminescence. This action has two effects. The uniform change in color grants the hive mind the appearance of one large interconnected organism. This is a form of camouflage called disruptive coloration, which is confusing to predators. Smaller sea creatures confuse the change in color for sunlight and are drawn towards the cluster. Okay. Whoops. That's potentially useful, though. Oh, yes. This is the right spot. Okay. So, where's my sea glide thingy? This is the other thing I need to mark. That's awkward. Um, I do have more beacons, they're just inside the ship. You know, I just thought of something else we need to check. Now that I've got access to additional materials and recipes, I should find out if I'm capable of building the next module for um, the the depth module for the sea truck. Warning, maximum depth reached. Yeah, yeah. damage imminent. Okay, okay, it's fine. We're getting out of here. theory. Why does everything have to be in really twisty caves? Oh, hang on. Hang on. I thought I saw something. That's just a resource node. Seek fluid intake. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're free. 
Okay, so Omega Labs over there. Where do I live? Over this way. You jerk. They can be very difficult space vikings. I've gotten trapped inside caves so many times. I've always gotten myself out again, but yesterday I got really trapped for a while in a space that you're really technically not even supposed to have the truck inside. But I managed to get in and then it took me forever to find the one entrance that I was able to leave through. Oh, it's not a surprise for devs, trust me. As a former game designer, we assume that they will do that. Oh, what the heck? Catfish, thank you so much for coming in with the raid. I really appreciate that. How are you doing this evening? What's going on? Tell me all about your stream. Let me see what you got here. Welcome on in, Timmy Spackler. Um, here. Oh, nope. <laughs> there we go. That's better. Uh, Marvel Spider-Man Remastered. I've never played the remastered version, but I played through the PS4 version of the original, and it was, a, well, a pun no, not intended, but it was spectacular. It was so, so good. How did Spider-Man treat you this evening? How are you doing with it? Have you played it before? Have you played Miles Morales? Do you intend to? Tell me all about the things. I would really love to do that. Yeah, it's really, really good. It's really fantastic. Uh, welcome on in, folks. It's really good to have you here. If you've never been here before, my name is Gord McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a wide variety of mostly single-player story-driven games with excellent character and narrative development, as well as some strategy games, sandboxing games, retro RPGs, classic adventure games, and every now and then I throw in real-world physical Lego builds as well. So if any of that sounds good please feel free to hit the follow button. And I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you in properly as well. Hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! No, 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 oh, shoot. 69 form factor. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Whoa. Yes, whoa. <laughs> okay, that was... Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. <laughs> Ow. 
up. Oh my. <laughs> wow. There you go. That's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around these parts. Thank you so much for bringing your folks over. I'm really glad that uh, Spider-Man is going well for you. So you played the old PS2 Spider-Man game. How are you finding the new one compares? Whatever you find that gives you peace and serenity, I'm all for it. Yeah, yeah. I, I was not expecting... Like, I figured I would enjoy it. I didn't really have any idea what I was getting myself in for, though. I really think it's becoming a new addiction. I'm planning, like, my birthday is coming up next month, and I'm thinking I'm gonna have to do another build. I ended up doing three last year. I did the uh, Boba Fett Starship. That's the one I showed. And then I, later on, in the beginning of December, I put together... Uh, what's it called? The Mandalorian's Razor Crest. So we built that. And then right on Christmas Eve, I just did a much smaller build, Obi-Wan's Jedi Starfighter. And that one was particularly fun because it was just so quick and just, you know, it, it was really great. Graphics are incredible. Combat is amazing. Love the game so far. Oh, that's really awesome. Uh, the 16th of March, Space Vikings. 16th of March. Whenever he does the... No, I'm not going to be doing it on my birthday. Seek fluid intake immediately. Don't tell me what to do. You're not my mom. the fabricator unit now. I guess I don't really have to necessarily go too far. Where... I need a bladder fish. There we go. Vital signs stabilizing. Thank you. How do you like this game compared to the original? I've heard the original is better, but it's the only one I've played in the series so far. I'm loving this. It's got a lot of improvements over the original. That said, this is uh, the furthest I've gotten in this game so far so I can't really compare them overall. I've completed Subnautica quite a few times. Uh, just the other day, I finished my fourth full playthrough. And with this one, I've only gotten a fraction of the way through. I've never finished it even once. So, you know, uh, story-wise, there's no way for me to really make a fair comparison. So whether or not the first one is really better than this one, I couldn't say. Hey, Jerry, how's it going? You kind of hate yourself. Oh, shoot, we have ads in progress again. I'll be back in a minute, guys.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, trying to find that really good food source that's under the ice, and I'm not having any luck. Whoops. Sorry. Oh, actually, wait a minute. This is it! Holy crap, this is it! Not the food source. This is where I came from. I've been freaking looking for this for ages. Okay. I need to mark this location. Don't mind me. Thank you, Sketchy. Had a good na night of gaming first one game, and when some of the players went off to bed, me and a friend said, hey, let's play another game for an hour or two. That was four hours ago. Need to go to bed, so have a sleep lurk. Thank you so much, Sherrig. I appreciate it. I am glad you had a fantastic night, and I will see you again soon. Okay. Sorry. And that actually, now that I know where home is and the pod is, I have a pretty good idea of where I need to go to find the, that food stuff, too. So we need to go this way. There it is. Has to do with sticking to a character in STO. Just do what makes you happy. Don't worry about sticking to anything. If you decide that your original plan is not what you needed, then there's nothing wrong with changing your mind and doing something else. You get no points for sticking to your character if it's not what you want to do. You know, there's no reward, there's no prize. Do what makes you happy. What is that? Oh, it's an egg. There we go. Wow, she's 900 meters down? Yeah, we definitely need to investigate and see if I can't make the... Oh, flashy light warning. Uh, if I can get the depth module. Oh. 
All right, so, oh, uh, yeah, right, that was the other thing I needed. New battery for the Sea Glide, because we just about, we actually did run that one down to zero. I'm almost surprised that I got the battery back. Oh! <laughs> Power only. Well, <laughs> that's fun. I guess I need to start working on alternative power solutions then, huh? You know, I can just get it up and running real quick like with this, I think. Online. Not by much. I think it's because it's nighttime. I, I don't have access to uranite crystals yet, so nuclear reactor is not really the ideal solution. I would love to figure out if there are some thermals nearby. If there are thermals, then I could do thermal power, because I find that a lot more reliable. Problem is, I don't know this map as well as Subnautica, and I would probably have to do a hell of a long chain. Because I know there's some. Let's see, Omega Lab. There's uh, there's thermals not too far from the Copa mining site, but that's like 700 meters away. Well, I'll, I I could do solar panels. I mean, that's my primary power source right now. I don't really use the uh, bioreactor very much. I suppose I could build a few more. Let's just grab some fish. They'd probably do better power than the uh, nuts New will anyway. Discovered. It's a shame I don't know whether there are Reginalds in this game. Where to find them. So let's see. Uh, oh, no, that's not going to do it. We want that. Ooh, right. Aerogel. Magnetite titanium. I guess aerogel's not that bad anymore. In this one, it's a lot easier to grab rubies. Um, copper, quartz, titanium for solar panels. I suppose I could build several more solar panels. Looks like the fish helped. Might also be coming up on daylight. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Alright, let's go grab what we need to make a few more solar panels. Uh, no, we're not too deep for solar panels at all. You can see pretty clear, pretty clearly. We're pretty good for solar. So what do I need? Copper and quartz, mostly? Oh, 
Five hours, oh my god, catfish, yes. Go get some rest, please. I really appreciate the raid, have a fantastic night. Try to get as much rest as you can, and hopefully I'll see you again. Odds of actually getting the copper you need worse. Okay. I should be able to make at least one more solar panel now. Hitting a wall, so heading to bed. Have a fantastic night. What is going on? Just a second. Okay, sorry about that. Okay. Ah, uh, that's better. That's a lot better. I don't know if that's going to be enough to keep the place going overnight, but I guess we'll find out. And if I have to run long power chains all the way back, I mean, that's not the worst thing ever, I suppose. It is going to mean I'm going to need a fair amount of gold and other resources to make the power transmitters. Okay, let's see. Just customizing the colors a little bit. Okay, so that's done. Let me just go clear off the recipe there. We don't need that pinned anymore. The aquarium one might be interesting, so that would take four silver, plus we need enameled glass, so that's two diamonds. I would have to get more diamonds. A plasteel ingot. And what's the other thing that you need for enameled glass in this? I'm going to pin that, just in case.
I also need to do a little experimentation. Actually, let's take the truck out. I want to see if you can use dock modules as storage. Oh, no, where did I... Oh, wow, old habits. Holy crap. Okay, that's actually good, though. That's good. No. Okay, I want to take this all the way over. I want to see if I can just dock this. Because if I can, then I can probably just build a whole array of docking units. Which means I'm probably going to need like five nuclear power plants. <laughs> that doesn't bode well for my plans. That's very unfortunate. All right. Ugh. That is a shame. I was hoping I could just put them in there and leave them there and they wouldn't have the truck, but I guess it wasn't designed with that in mind. Oh well. So power's looking much, much better. Don't know if it'll stay that way, but it's looking better for now. And that battery's almost charged up, which is good, because now the base builder one is getting a little bit low. Um, What else do we need to do? I mean, I guess I need to explore the area with the prawn suit a little bit more. I would dearly love to get the prawn suit working. So I think what we'll do... I'm going to do some more of this stuff. Welcome back, Dova.
Now that I have an idea of what to look for with these artifacts, I want to see if we can find this one. I don't know if we will be able to, because I don't know if what we're looking for is consistent between the different artifacts. But that's one of the things that I would like to try to find out. Oh, okay, this is an entrance into this area. I don't know if I really want to bring the truck down here. I, maybe I don't. Especially because now it's a much bigger truck than it was when I originally got stuck down there. That might not be the best. Entrance into it. Shoot. This all really leads me to believe that what I want is over that way. Uh, and in these tunnels. All right, fine. I'm going to save first, though. Okay, well, I found it. It is both reassuring and unsettling to rediscover this site after being in storage for so long. My connection to the network grows stronger, however slightly. I hope you will continue to search for more of these. Well, it's no wonder I couldn't find it in the truck. New technology acquired. Quantum locker? What? This apparent research device seems built to determine the chemical components and properties of water samples, possible applications, testings for level of carobacterium in the water, spectroscopic analysis, experimental application of light, heat, or chemical compounds via the cylindrical core at the center of the storage chamber. Hey, buddy. Oh, sorry. Thank you, sir. I park again. A bizarre fish with star-like fins which it spins to generate propulsion. Capable of very high speeds in a straight line, slow, wide, turning circle. Like other small prey fish, they feed on a variety of seeds and grasses around the seabed. Assessment, edible. One, or sorry, two minute warning, guys, by the way. Edible, you New say. Discovered. Let's see how they are. It may turn your stomach. <laughs> 
I love the puns in the food descriptions. Not bad. That's quite a bit of food. Not too much hydration, but quite a bit of food. Okay, so I do believe that's two different alien artifacts that we have successfully located. Sorry. One main thing I like about Ranch Sim is a lot of the farm work is manual versus Farm Sim 17 automated things. You love that about games? It is really nice that they have a variety of different ways to do things in different games so that you can have the experience that you want. Now I'm curious to see how power is holding up here. That'll buff out. Ranch Sim is giving me the fuel I need to build my own Ranch Sim. Ah, nice. Oh, ads in progress again, guys. Oh, damn it. Oh, crap. Ah. I shouldn't have said anything. Ah. Oh, God. Oh, why? Chat, why? Suspicious. Great. You've been snatched from existence by a tentacled beast lurking beneath the grate. You feel the painful sting of digestive fluids. I should probably just focus on going where I need to go instead of on murdering these guys in the bikes. Although, a little bit of bike murder is pretty fun. Whoops. Looks like the water might be too shallow for the water wheel. Uh oh, are they hungry? Maybe this is more like Vanished than I thought. Oh god, they're out of food. Okay, this is definitely reminding me a little bit more of Banished. Okay, I am back. I will take that, thank you. Ah, that one's done, good. Oh, 
Okay, looks like power is actually holding up quite nicely. That's really good to know. So let's take a look at the modification station here. If I have a battery, we can do a survival knife, turn it into a thermal blade. Swim charge fins don't excite me too much. Sea truck depth upgrade mark two. I would need synthetic fibers and enameled glass. I've got two rubies already. And I would need the depth upgrade mark one, and then I can make the depth mark two. So I think we need to do that. How do we do synthetic fiber? Spiral plant clipping. All right. Let's see if we can figure those out. I have a few ideas on what they might be. Okay, I'm out of ideas on what they might be. Thank you. Spiral plant, spiral plant. It's got to be down here somewhere. Can't help but notice that... Oh, well, it's down to 98 again, but it was at 99 just a moment ago, and I had already banged it up some means that when I started this, it should have been at 100 health, and I noted in particular that when I put it back into the dock, it had been lower than 100. It was 98 when I docked it. So I do believe the dock actually repairs the truck. Yeah, I don't think we want to go down that far. Where, oh, where would a spirally plant thing be? Must we bump into everything? That's the one thing I don't like about making the uh, truck more, more cyclopsy. That's a technical term, by the way. The more modules you put on, the slower it goes, and the more hard, more difficult to maneuver it becomes. And so, you know, it just naturally, it becomes harder to explore with it, especially in tighter spaces. Like that, for example. This was the alien distress call of Why don't I start turning off 
some of these ones that we don't necessarily need. Like, we've been there, done that. We've done that one. I think we've done that one. But I'm not 100% certain. I might have randomly found an extra one. might a spirally plant look like? It's got to be red, and it's got to be sort of spirally. So I guess we're going in here then, and we're going to see if we can find anything that fits the bill. If it's for advanced materials though, I would kind of suspect it would be something you'd find further afield, right? If it's just nearby, that doesn't seem like it's really rare enough. Maybe I'm wrong about that. this an unscanned nest? Oh, it's mobile vehicle bay. Propulsion cannon. I already had that. Okay. Fair. Well, we have jellies over here. Lots of them.
precious little in the way of plant life, though. I kind of suspect... Oh my god, that's a big one. I kind of suspect this is not where I'm going to find what I need. Ooh, what is that, though? Oh, I... Wow. It didn't even occur to me to think that maybe what I'm looking for could be on the surface. Pouch bulb. Violet snow cone. Oh. Oh my. These glacial steam vents or geysers are periodic, intense hot water vapor eruptions that emerge from crevices in the ice sheet. The temperature of the steamy water eruption is hot enough to cause severe first-degree burns in any accidental bystander. Standard, although al standard Altera multi-purpose dive suits are sufficient for averting skin damage. Okay, this is heckin' cool. I think I need to mark this location with a beacon. Which, uh, I suppose, means I need to get back in the truck. Last beacon. Where'd it go? There it is. This is so cool. Well, that's rude. You shut off just as I show up? Fine. Whatever. See if I care. Take the nutrient block. Jukebox disc. JT music, don't hold your breath. Now, what the heck is that? I wish I could scan those, if only to figure out what they are, even if I... You know, can't build them. It would still be nice to know. to the rescue. I might need to... Of significance beyond this bridge. It was important to Volterra, but more important to me. Will it help us build you a body? I believe so, yes. Okay. We're gonna have to investigate then. Retract, extend, attention, check fluid levels. Uh, I need heat. 
Damn it, geyser. Stop shutting down right when I need you. Come on. Geyser. Do the geysing thing. Please. All Terra facility beacon detected nearby. Unique identifier. Fire robotics center. Did it seriously just jet up and then... Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Please? Holy crap, thank you. My robotics center. Right. I need several thermoses. <laughs> fluid levels. How do I check fluid levels? you. Um, fluid levels, fluid levels, where are fluid levels? Or vein, what? Resources behind loose rock? Yeah, I'm guessing I can't do anything with that just with the knife. Okay, there's another cave over there. Oh, oh. Right, that would be what the bridge is for. Hmm. Or... There is this. The fevered pepper tree produces fruits with high levels of cap capsaicin. I I've never known how to pronounce that properly. I've only ever read it, never said it or heard it. Which helps raise body temperature and stimulates blood flow. I will provide a signal. Fevered signal pepper. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, cool. I need to get to my storage, which is conveniently located very close by, thankfully. with such a fallible and inferior body. Excuse you? My body is anything but inferior. I work hard for my body to be able to do what it does. Yes, but its overall form is not ideal. For example, consider its use of primitive ball and socket joints. Is there anything you don't find primitive? Humans bartered with evolution to get more brain wrinkles and opposable thumbs. 
It is true the opposable thumb is excellent, but all corporeal forms are temporary. The ability to be reborn when a body breaks down is paramount. My body is my own and I cherish it. It grows with me. Humans have one life. We plant trees we can never experience the shade of. We build for the next generation. Noble, but again, truly inefficient. You are incredibly frustrating, you know that? I hope to see the forms of my people again. There. Energy generator. Scans indicate that this array of alien hardware serves to accumulate and quickly release megajoules of energy and is charged by ion cubes stored within. These supercapacitors may be used to smooth transient power events on the conduits connecting various architect sites. Four minute warning, guys. Actually, probably closer to five. But very shortly. This is pretty nifty. I also appreciate that it's not particularly cold. The temperature is stable enough that I can not need to worry about it. Fevered pepper. They increase body heat? Okay. We're going back to base specifically so that I can see if I can plant some of those trees. Because that seems like that would be a really nice thing to have. Thank you. I need interior. Let's do a chic pot plant over here. Right in the corner would be good. Then again, maybe I need more titanium, who knows. Oh, that's right. I dropped all my titanium in one of the storages on the ship.
Okay, so I can plant them. But it's one per. Alright guys, ads are going to start very shortly, so I'm going to take another quick break. Uh, this will probably be my last proper break of the evening, so I'll be about three and a half to five minutes, and I'll be back as soon as uh, that's done. So if you guys need to get up, grab some food or a drink, grab a snack, whatever you need to do, this is a really good time to do it, and I'll meet you back here in just a few. Twin Lakes, home to the largest population of Twin Lakes natives. <laughs> we started running out of tourist attractions pretty quickly. Oh, wow, yeah. Whoa. This is so cool. Is that a sea? No, it's water that's collected in the ground. Hey, there's a pontoon. We need to use this place. We're on the right track. Never heard. Ah, oh, God. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, and it's back here again. Yeah. What the hell was that? That was not me. I didn't do that. that I don't like your attitude I'd better teach you a lesson while I bleed slowly to death right in front of you this is gonna go great Hunters are going to take me away and kill me. My wife warned me not to take a loan from Tavik. Now I can't pay it back. It's not good to owe a Wow. I am worthless tonight. There we go. That's better. I can just kind of circle around the island here because I need a boat to get to the neighboring island anyway which I think is close enough that you can use these smaller ones or could just go on foot and see if there's another boat I can use Um, All right, I'm back. Okay, so we have some of those pepper trees growing. Uh, 
Oh, that's full. That's where I dumped all my titanium, right? Okay. Actually, I'll keep a couple of those on me. Now, where is that? That's unknown base that way. Five robotics landing pad, 965, 861. Interesting. Okay. Let's... Oh, I Actually, I don't have a bed yet. Maybe that's something I should build. Grab a few of the uh, titanium. What do I need for a bed? Fiber mesh. What do I need for fiber mesh? Oop. Gimme. Thank you. I believe fiber mesh... It's just a couple of those. Wait, what do you mean? Oh. Not enough space. Okay, so now I should be able to do... What was I going to do? I was going to do a bed. Let's do a quilted bed. That's going to go out here. We'll put this right in the corner. I was going to skip the night, but it took so long to build the bed that now there's no night to skip. Got. I need to make several more thermoses, and I need to make coffee. Because it turns out those are ridiculously useful for keeping you from dying. So, I thought it was just a fun little thing at first. Now, after having actually gotten a little bit onto land, I see the value. Personal, equipment, thermos. I don't need that. Oh, actually I do, but that's okay. We still need to figure out that spiral cl plant clipping, which I still suspect maybe that might actually be on land. We might have to go back to Delta Station and look around. Or maybe in this new area, you never know. Okay, so that's titanium and glass. Do I have... I do. Okay. It's filling those. I'm gonna go see if I've got more quartz stashed back here. 
Because I would like several of them if possible. I do. Excellent. <laughs> hey, Axa. How's it going? Welcome on in. Yes, it is. Coffee truly does save lives. Just had your first of the day and already feel 43% more functional. I'm a little bit jealous. I'm headed towards bed myself in the not too distant future, so I will not be getting coffee for probably a good 12 hours. Maybe a little less. Okay, we need more quartz. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate that. Uh, okay, Delta Station Dock is that way. Might as well kill two birds with one stone. We're just gonna look around and see if we can find any quartz on our way there anywhere. Actually kind of doubt there's going to be a whole lot of it, but that's all right. I want to look around. Oh, mm. Mm. okay. There's some. I want to look around Delta Station Island anyway. see about that red spiral plant that I'm seeking. Oh, just a... Okay, there's a... How far away is that? 391 meters? That's not that bad. I mean, it would take some work and it would take some materials, but I could do thermal power from here. Be annoying, but I could do it. That might be viable. Is there more down here? Not that I can see. Okay. So this is literally right on Delta Station's doorstep, so to speak. Ouch. That'll buff out. That's fine. I think that's sea truck wreckage. Okay. Okay, that does not look like a red spiral plant. Neither does that. Can't really scan those, or I already did.
Hmm. Not really anything there. get there. Oh, okay. There's a different entrance, which is good. I don't want to freeze to death. Thank you. is stuff down there. Now I'm too far above it. Unless I can maybe come on. That'll buff out. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, this is a really well disguised passage. What the heck? What is this? Uh, can I not answer that? Oh, there's diamonds in there? What the hell? Unfortunately, I can't seem to go there. Oh my god, there's so much stuff in here. How do you even get to this part? Where is this? There's a stairway right here. What the heck? What? Holy crap. What? That's cool. Oh, wow. All right. So, secret found. But, sadly, no red spiral plant found. At least it doesn't feel like the trip up here was a waste. We still can't do this yet. Is, no, no, that's... Wow, now that I've found the secret, that's all that I really want to do. But uh, there's, I, I'm going to run out of carry capacity before I do that, and I can't run out of carry capacity because I still need to get all the quartz. And I can get three more. Actually, I could probably get more than that. I just stash stuff in the truck, I guess.
That's a creepy red environment. There we go. Okay, so at least now we've confirmed that it is not Delta Station Island. That's something that's worth knowing. Mind, sir, you're being very loud. I'm looking for quartz. necessarily need 10 coffee thermoses, but it wouldn't hurt. But if I get four or five, I think I'll be in pretty good shape. Got three now. All of the table coral. A shark. Okay. You done, sir? said, excuse me, sir.
Oh, right. Quartz is all well and good, but you gotta turn it to glass. I think that'll probably do it. I think that's probably good. That plus the three I've already got, that's seven. That's better than I actually intended to do. Honestly, sir. Really? filled. Seek fluid and take. Vital signs stabilizing. Thank you. Best words in the game. I'm a little disappointed that in this one, these buttons here are non-functional. They actually worked in Subnautica. You could get it to dispense more than one cup. Okay. Stabilize your own vital signs? Sounds good. <laughs> Enjoy. Now, let's see. I'll keep a few on me. But I'll stash some more in there for safekeeping. And now that we've got that taken care of, I think we're gonna go... Oh. We're actually gonna go take a quick break. Um, just a brief bit of clips that I'll run so that uh, you guys don't have to sit through the ads that are about to start in roughly a minute. So I'll be back in a few. Ah, oh God. Oh boy. <laughs> Your move. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, <laughs> what? Commander, 
can't outrun me. The commander. Ranger is lit. Reinforcements are coming. Oh man. The, co the commander leaped off to his own death. Hey, what? Nine one. Oh my god! <laughs> wow. Where did... Where did I come from? You again! Crap. <laughs> That works. Oh. Another one bites the dust. That works. Oh. Okay. I'm back. Let's see how close we can get if we go to the Phi Robotics landing pad beacon. I don't know if that one's on land or if it's in the water. Either way, I'd like to see if there's another spot we can get to the surface from. does look like it is not a landing spot. Oop. Sorry. Almost ran right into you. Oh yeah, those are sheer cliffs. Okay. Let's maybe explore around here, see if there is another landing spot nearby. Or if the other place is it. You know one thing I'm not aware of, that I'm suddenly very aware of, not knowing? I don't know what the edge of the playable area of this game is. You know in Subnautica. I don't know how you know in this game.
It also occurs to me that it's been a while since I've saved, so why don't we do that before we investigate further? that? Oop. Sorry. Didn't mean to, I swear. Oop. Sorry. Oh, that... Is that... No. Okay, that's still sheer cliff. Alright, that's kind of not looking like it's an inviting landing spot. going way too far away. That doesn't look like a chamber so much as it looks like a hole. somewhere. I think maybe we will look into that next time. I really kind of want to go back over here. See if I can get a concept of what's going on with the under... like the, the, the liquid pressure they were talking about. For sheer creepiness factor, there's very little in either of these games that matches the eye jellies. They are really gross. Oh, you had to park yourself right there, didn't you? So I've got coffee. Let's go up this way, actually. We haven't really seen the other side yet. Damn it! where they're keyed to shut off when I get near. Okay, there doesn't seem to be very much you can do to check the bridge. 
I mean, there is the one console, I suppose. I think that might be the cable I had been running around on earlier the other day. And I'm starting to get an idea of maybe why they provided a land vehicle. I'm kind of suddenly wishing that I had access to it. This kind of seems like it might be a long way, and it doesn't look like they were kind enough to provide thermal vents the whole way. Pretty much right back to home in the start area. Okay, so this doesn't go anywhere. And in fact, I've been here before because that is where I was climbing around. Fine. Coffee to the rescue. So I've literally been here, except I didn't realize this was a thing we could just run around on and would actually take us somewhere. Also worth noting, still no signs of any kind of red spiral plant. So it's got to be somewhere else. Let's just let us warm up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, so I'm not sure there's much of interest on this side. We can't get up there. We're going to have to cross over back to the other side. Actually, you know what? Heck it. I am bringing the rest of my coffee with me.
Might be just as well I came at night, because I didn't realize there were lights around here. What is back this way? Oh, what the heck? These isostalagmites are inhabited by extremophilic bacteria capable of surviving and reproducing in freezing temperatures. This is possible thanks to antifreeze agents secreted by the bacteria which keeps the cell environment in liquid state and prevents destructive ice crystal formation within. Oh, this is cool. Oh, and a good supply of the peppers too, that's really nice. Marbled anemone. These terrestrial anemones are sustained by a commensal relationship with small clusters of fungi that feed off the anemone's slimy secretions. Coffee so black you have to prove you are not Anish Kapoor, nor are you drinking it on his behalf. Oh my god. Pathfinder tool. Inventory full. Frosted sinew tree. The frosted sinew tree is a large plant that collects bits of snow along its thick red stem. Snow is 90% air and can provide insulation, which helps prevent the formation of ice crystals in more vulnerable intersections of the tree. The surface of the snow eventually hardens into a layer of ice, but it still prevents the body of the plant from reaching dangerously cold temperatures. Try and hang. Ah, uh, there we go. Thank you. The hell is that? New technology acquired. The spy penguin provides new avenues for researchers to access natural above ground habitats. It is especially effective at maneuvering through spaces otherwise too small for humans. That's the secret at Delta. There was that tiny passage I couldn't fit through. Penguins are highly active creatures who are protective of their young penglings. In order to better study these energetic denizens of the Arctic region, Altera scientists on 4546b had to think outside of the base. A well-known phenomenon, the V. Keikas principle, asserts that in order to best study fauna, one must become the fauna. Scientists across the stars have used this basic principle to infiltrate and observe alien creatures of all sizes and dispositions. Doctors Casus, Curtis, Tucson, and Macbeth pioneered these accomplishments. Inspired by this, and after months of trial and error, the first spy penguin was created at Phi Robotics Center 
bringing about a new era of exploration and excavation across all operating outposts. Warning, research to create waterproof, a waterproof edition of the Spy Penguin was halted due to compliance concerns. Currently, contract, contact with water will result in complete system failure. Features include fully customizable outer shell to replicate any small bipedal creature, two all-terrain tracks for smooth movement over rough conditions, remote controller for operating at distances up to 80 meters away, atmosphere dependent, four storage slots, self-destruct option in case of danger or immobility, Arm with three-pronged claw for picking up samples, fully detachable camera with 180-degree rotation to observe spy pingling and surroundings. The spy pingling. Sit back, relax, and let the robot do the hard work. That is awesome. So that's gotta be what this is for. It's like a base station for the robot. Fire Robotic Center. Fire Robotics. This is where Sam worked. Hover pad fragment? What? New blueprint synthesized. The hover pad is a deployable pad equipped with two articulating arms for rapid snow fox assembly and repair, recharged via magnetic to thermal energy conversion, most commonly used for land-based operations in low to medium gravity. Oh man. Oh, I need the battery. I want the battery. This Sam is... loved working here with her spy pinglings. Do all humans like work? The lucky ones do. Are you lucky? I used to think I was. Um. Snow box fragment. Two of three components. Glacial Basin map, very nice. Sam's bed. This must have been Sam's room. But something's not right. Well, yeah, it's kind of completely trashed. Hi, you. How's everything at Pengling Central? <laughs> oh, fine. But I haven't heard anything since giving the footage to Zeta. It's been, what, a week? Did she promise you a report? No, but I expected some kind of reaction. Maybe I should take it up with Emmanuel. It is Kara, after all, and it could cause a lot of suffering if it got out. And why would it get out? We have professional containment and know how to neutralize it in an emergency. Sam? I love you, but you don't know what you're talking about. You love me? Wait, why do you know so much about this? It's my area of research. Why are you being evasive? Oh, I'm gonna tell you something, and then you have to drop this crusade you're on before you damage your career. 
We're researching the bacteria. What kind of research are you doing? I don't want you worrying about this. Uh, we are aware of the possible downsides, but they're far outweighed by the potential. That's as much as I can tell you. <sighs> Sam, I, I need to think. I have to go. Okay, very cool. I'm a little disappointed we can't take that thing. I need that framed art. Um... Zeta's bed. Oh, I like the artwork on it. Nerd out, diving in too deep. I don't need that. Practicing mind mindfulness as a leader. Your team is a sponge, just waiting to soak up the energy you bring into the room. Think of yourself as a teapot leader. You have the power to saturate your team with soothing warmth and healing. You also have the power to burn them. The key to infusing those who follow you with calm is to manage the calm within yourself first. That is the power of mindfulness in leadership, which we'll discuss further in the next chapter. But first, let's explore another element of leadership that often goes overlooked the steeping time. Once you've poured your healing magic over your team, you must wait for the oils and essences from the tea leaves to adapt to their full new environment and become fragrant and fully realized. There is power in a healing leader, but a patient healing leader is unstoppable. Cold suit fragment. Ooh. New blueprint synthesized. Unrivaled in protection from colder climates, the cold suit is the ideal outfit for below zero conditions. Fur lined for natural heat transfer reduction, tri laminated seals at all openings, rated to 133.8 Kelvin, self regulating internal compressor. Okay, so that's a functioning aquarium. I guess that's all for this room. Nope, not out that way. Fiber mesh, can't take that. I do, oh, but wait, no, I've already got the power cell. I don't need that. Oh, <laughs> you brought a friend. Spy Pangling in training. We're recording audio, is that okay? Of course, I have the photos you sent. Um, what am I looking at here? Kara pustules on the frozen Leviathan. That's nothing to worry about in and of itself. It's well contained. The ice sample suggests it's been frozen since the time of the outbreak. The strain made the planet uninhabitable. If it mutates... Are you feeling unsafe? Very. <sighs> if I escalate this issue for you, will you feel comfortable enough to concentrate again? I have deadlines for the snow fox and the mining bots coming up. I really need your focus on the penglings. Oh. Yeah, that's a relief, actually. 
I was expecting more of a fight. Nothing is more important than our safety. Well, I'll take care of it, okay? Thanks. I won't let you down. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. Keep up the good work. Okay, that was crappy timing. We have ads in progress. I'm going to take another quick break for clips while the ads run, and then we'll be back, and we're going to have to raid out pretty shortly. This tree is dead and seems to be free of the slick secretion some of the others generate. You begin to shimmy your way up the snag. Crack. <laughs> Holy log jams, Batman. You almost ate the big one. Well... I mean, that was kind of what I was thinking we needed to do, though not the way I was expecting to do it. <laughs> Oops. So I don't suppose this decorative pool has any special science stuff to it. I don't... I think I've ever had this happen before. Actually working tonight, but I'll leave a lurk. Probably be back later. No worries, Scott. Thank you so much again. It's really, really kind of you to recommend us like that. I appreciate it. Oh. Oh. That was... Ooh. Um, thanks, Auto Drive. Crap, it's actually literally not going anywhere. Oh, okay, we're good. Funny if he came here on his break and raided himself. That would be hilarious. We should try and make that happen. Okay, sorry about that, folks. I am back. I apologize, you missed the what? Axa, thank you so much for that follow. I really, really appreciate that. I do apologize you guys missed some of that message that we were listening to before that all happened. Oh, crap. Mm, there's too many things to pick up. I really need to have stored more of this stuff back in the uh, sub. I almost want to run back and stash some, but that's such a trip. No, I am, uh, I am in Ontario. It is Eastern Standard Time, or Eastern Time. I never remember if it's... I guess it must be Standard Time. So, yeah, it is a little after 4 o'clock in the morning. Damn it, there's so many posters! Alright, that's it. We're running back. I'm going to stash stuff in the tri in the uh, sub, and then we'll come back and we'll loot the place very thoroughly next time. Now, nah, this is standard for me, Axa. I just have a really weird sleep schedule. It's not a problem. Okay, actually, I guess it's not all that terribly far from the sub after all. Feels like it's a lot farther than it actually is. Take advantage of it then? Excellent. I do. So why shouldn't other people?
Okay, putting the storage compartment on the sub, best decision I've made all game so far, I've got to say. Oh, oh, he's back up. Noticing that his depth changes every now and then. Okay, that looks good. And I think we're just going to save here. That was fast enough that we can run right back again next time I play this, which is likely to be Thursday. I don't stream on uh, Tuesdays or Wednesdays. So we got that saved. I will be back on Thursday. We will almost certainly be playing this again because we're making such great progress in it. And uh, yeah, you are correct. It is getting pretty late, so I think I need to raid out, like I said. So let's see what we've got going on this evening. Oh, okay. I know where we're going. Greeny Trini is on. He is playing some Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, which is a game that I still have ongoing myself. And I think after we're done Subnautica, that's probably going to be the next game that I put my focus onto for a while. So let me just load this up. Yep, he's not on a break or anything. Oh, thank you for being here, Axa. Thank you, everybody, for being here. It means a lot to me that people have uh, this idea in their heads for some reason that this is a good place to hang out and uh, spend your time, even though you could be just about anywhere doing anything on or off the internet. It means a lot. So thank you, thank you. Yeah, we'll do Breath of the Wild, and then uh, we're going to raid over to Breath of the Wild, and then I will be playing Breath of the Wild probably shortly after. Maybe not necessarily the very next day after I play this. I have other games on the go as well I want to do a little bit of, but uh, very soon after, because I do want to finish Breath of the Wild at some point before the new one comes out, because we're definitely going to play the new one too. And, uh, you know, I started my playthrough of Breath of the Wild not too long after I got my Switch, which was 2020. So it's been a while. I played it once a few weeks ago, and that was the first time I'd played it in roughly two and a half years. So we're going to go raid Greeny Trini. That's his link. Excellent. The bot got it correct this time. And uh, I'll see you guys over there. So have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world. Oh, before I wrap up, actually, I suppose we need the uh, raid call. Here at the Library of Lore, we use Library Raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote and the wave emote of the channel if you're a sub. If you're not a sub, you can use the Twitch Raid or the Tomb Raid emote. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have emotes of your own or maybe from another streamer or from Twitch themselves, feel free to copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So let's get over to Greeny's channel see how uh, Breath of the Wild is treating him this evening. And... Uh, Give me half a second here, I just need to copy my own raid message. Here we are. And, uh, yeah, so, like I said, I don't stream Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Those are my days off, but I will be back Thursday. Oh, damn it! He just went on a break. That's okay. We'll surprise him when he gets back. It's fine. So we're going to raid over to Greeny's channel. Maybe we'll be lucky and he actually pops over here to check out what's going on in my stream and he'll end up raiding himself again because that was hilarious last time. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're going to raid over to him and uh, I'll catch you guys back here on Thursday. So have a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world. And I'll catch you again real soon. Bye for now. Gotcha. Sucker. <laughs> what timing? Oh boy. A meteor strike has occurred. Avoid the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. Well... Actually, hang on. Confidently, you cast 
cast the calm spell. Why how cute, you cast the calm spell and the monster visibly relaxed. Why now it's calmly and relaxedly ripping you to shreds and eating you. At least he's enclosed. <laughs> oh my god, we get the Battle of the Titans. It's the T-Rex versus the uh, Triceratops. At least until T-Rex gets tranked. These guys have got a hell of a show. <laughs> 